the project that you're doing um, is not a Broadway-bound thing, is it? Well, I don't think it is. It's, it's actually, we're talking about creating new shows for Broadway, and I'm involved with uh, uh, a group of young dancers, extremely talented dancers, that are involved in creating a company for dancers, of dancers, modern no. dance company. This and to see what they're having to go through in this process is really an amazing thing. Um, it's Michael Thomas and Elizabeth Rojas and Kareem Plantadi from the, the Ailey from, Company. Yeah. No, no wait no. a minute. I'm thinking of Michael Thomas, the teacher of ballet no, no, up no. on the Upper West Side. No, <laughs> no not a, that Michael Thomas. A phenomenal dancer, a performer from uh, the Ailey Company. Okay. And Elizabeth Rojas and Kareem Plantadi, they all are soloist or principal dancers with Ailey or have been. Uh -huh. And their whole process now is to create a new dance company. They want to oh, wow. uh, get Talk involved about, about 14 to 16 uh, dancers who primarily are soloists and principals with the major dance companies in the city, ABT uh, and Ailey. And, uh, well, and a lot of companies. those dance com dancers from ABT are going into Fosse. Yes. <laughs> right. Slowly, I but mean, surely. it's amazing how it's crossing over, and I think that's right. phenomenal. Well, that happened with, the, with dancing dancers originally well, right. in, in, the, in the solo Perk 4 that was created for Charles Ward, that, uh -huh. that Mr. Fosse created for Charles Ward. Once Charles left the show, there are others that came in that, that took his place, uh, Robert LaFosse and Gary, and, Christ. Gary Christ and mm -hmm. others that crossed over from, from um, the ballet world into the, into the Broadway world and Broadway scene. Well, all these transitions are like phenomenal. I mean, we're doing a segment later in the week about career transitions mm -hmm. and how you, you know, move forward into another path in mm -hmm. life. And I know Fosse, you know, he always wanted to go to Broadway, I right. mean, go to the ballet, right? right? That's Create where dancing ballets. came from, right? Yeah. He wanted to... Create a ballet. Yeah, and he yeah. never got to do that. Well, I, but I think he did, now, whether he did or not, I should, no one should ever speak for him, but um, uh, he did create a ballet. He created dancing, and dancing was a ballet. It was in three acts like a ballet. But I don't think we ever saw him do a ballet in a ballet company, except for Percussion 4, mm -hmm. which several different ballet stars throughout the world have done. Uh -huh. like, I think Anthony Dow has done really? it. Really? Yeah. I always wondered about it. I just yeah. read his book, so I was going yeah. through a whole thing about Fosse and, and the transitions that he went through. Where have you come? I mean, if you were going to encapsulate <laughs> the last 20 years of your life, it hasn't been 20, but... <laughs> I mean, I know I have a 20-year-old no, that I'm marks not, my time. Not even 20. No, I'm not even 20. <laughs> We're not. Oh, my gosh. The last 20, 20 years, years ago. ago. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Oh were we, was that Pippin? 20 years 20 ago? 20 years ago for me. Um, Dancing. It was Pippin. It was Pippin. Yeah, that's 1973. Yeah, so you were a full dancer. and you Yeah, not knowing what I wanted to do. And it was only until, like, in the 80s did I decide that I was going to choreograph. And I did it because I needed to make money. And I was living in California, and then I just got the bug. And it was it was after Mr. Fossey's passing that I got to do sweet charities all over the world, uh -huh. and really put those together and and uh, learned what that was all about. And now I can't imagine myself doing anything other than what I do. I love creating things. I always thought I would dance, I'd get a dancing school, and that would be it. Right. And I don't think we think past that of being a dancer and a performer. Well, that's what you but know how to do. You've been doing that for so long. Well, yes, like, what but else the, do you do? You well, know? life, I think, takes over, and it kind of yeah. can move you into different paths. Like, you're doing the modern company. It's like... Well, that's something that's unexpected for me. And although most of my professional career has been in musical theater, fortunately, I've been able to make a living that way. Uh, I always wanted to be a modern dancer and I now I'm having an opportunity to, to, to do that, to, right. to choreograph and so forth and on fortunately some of those brilliant beautiful dancers that, that are around today mm -hmm. and uh, it's a thrill to see this new company Rhythmic is the name of it that's mm -hmm. coming into, into being and to work with this marvelous Rhythmic. group of talent Rhythmic. and um, the thing that's been a little different for me than perhaps for a lot of people, is that I didn't start dancing until I was 23 years old. Whoa, that's and late. And I gave myself at that time 10 years to make it, thinking all the time in the back of my head, you know, 10 years I'm going to be 30-something, and that's by that time it's usually over with for most people. So you're saying it's never too late. I don't this think... This is it, very interesting. I think it's... I think when the... I think when the desire is there and the luck is there and you have... Um, I had a, an exceptional first teacher, a man by the name of Harvey Heisel, who was 
extraordinarily patient with me and, and evidently saw something worthwhile there to keep working so on. So he gave you a good foundation in the and, training and, brilliant and the technique. Brilliant foundation in, in, in technique. And, right. uh, and then I had the opportunity, fortunately, immediately on starting to learn how to dance, to be getting jobs in the dance field, which is usually easier for men to do. Yes. <laughs> and also at the same time, exactly. She sorry. Says better she says. Life. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. No, but at the same women time, are... I was uh, teaching at the uh -huh. same time and not having a clue as to what I was doing. But yeah. I started teaching so I could help make it my, make a living. And we then back, yeah. had the opportunity to choreograph. So. I was choreographing musicals and teaching dance yeah. and and um, performing at the same time and still learning, of course, certainly on my feet. Where do you plan on going after this little um, interview? I'm going to therapy. You are? Yeah. <laughs> get that mindset up. I'm trying to get healed. You are? <laughs> I'm trying to get healed. Mentally, physically? Fit, all of the above. Oh, that sounds all so healthy. Person. I just came from therapy. You came so. from therapy. <laughs> massage therapy you can in massage this case. Therapy. Yes. Well, right. actually, I think I'm going to your massage therapist and you get are. my body back in order. Excellent. We need to take it's care of ourselves. Excellent so. seeing you guys here. Great seeing it you. Really Great is. seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. And You're thank welcome. you.